as you can see, I've been updating my GIS features, and you can see our new student center that I've outlined. I discussed this in the spatial attribute data editing tutorial that I've, I've posted for my Geography 4010 class. Now, you can see the number of features has actually changed, and I'm going through the process of doing this as well. You can see all the, indiv all the individual attributes have been populated, but I created a new one called square feet. Uh, I have one here called acres, but I could calculate it also using square feet, and I can do some calculations with this, but I'm going to right mouse click, and instead of doing something called calculate field, we're going to calculate the actual geometry. Now, when I click on calculate geometry, my input features, my target fields are going to be square feet, but I can calculate all of these different features. Now we have points, lines, and polygons. And you can see here, since we have a polygon and it knows that this feature class is a polygon, it has a number of different features. Obviously, for something like a, a point, it can't give me the area or perimeter, but for a line, it can give me the length or whatnot. And so I'm going to calculate the area. And my area unit here is going to be in square feet, and I'm going to be working off of the current map, which is in state plane. And so my target field's square feet. The property is going to be called area, and it looks like I can do this for multiple. So if I wanted to calculate the perimeter in perimeter length here in feet, I can do this at the same time. And so I've got a field here called square feet, where I'm going to calculate the area in feet. I have square feet for area. I'm going to calculate in square feet. So these will be both measured in feet. And so I do have both of these. Now when I click OK, you'll see this is going to be newly populated. I'm going to expand this out because I believe, so here we have, so 315,000 feet. So this building here, or 31,000 square feet for the communications building. And, and let's look at the our newly, uh, and this is about 51,000 square feet, about a, a little bit uh, a little bit more than an acre. And then over here for my perimeter, which I just calculated again, you can see you know, what it is here. So about 1,400 feet uh, for the perimeter. And so now you can see for my square feet. Now, obviously, you see some nulls here. Some of these data layers need to be cleaned up. There might be uh, null features or whatnot. But you can see we have, we've gone through and calculated the, the square feet. Put this back. So we have a really powerful tool called Calculate Geometry. So we can calculate centroids, perimeters. Uh, it's dependent upon the nature of the geometry of the data, your points, lines versus polygons. And we can do these multiple fields at a time.